Hey guys, this is the end result of this video. It's just a walkthrough video of how I configure my computer and my system settings to make the game look a lot nicer, make the cars rather look a lot nicer inside the garage um, while playing on Bluestacks. Alright, so I uploaded a video a couple days ago just showing like regular graphics and higher graphics on, um, on Bluestacks only for speed and uh how and people ask how do i do that so i'm going to try to explain it so uh i just call it high graphics all it is is forcing anti-aliasing on the game uh yeah so this is how i pulled that off so as you can see inside the garage this uh Dodge charger it's uh it, it could be cleaner looking right like it's pretty jagged on the edges and whatnot so uh yeah, so if I zoom in, you can see more so that on the wheels, the uh, spokes, and uh, and just on the body trim, it's uh, it's very jagged. It's not straight and crisp. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to explain how do you make it look nicer. Uh, this only uh, this only pertains to um, the garage. Uh, in game, like racing wise, that's something else. That requires something else that uh, I'm not gonna explain yet because uh, it's kind of really complicated <laughs> anyway so let's just get on with the easy stuff so what you gotta do is inside of your blue stack settings wherever those are at make sure your engine is uh, using uh, OpenGL and not DirectX from there uh, this is the part that's gonna be a little hard but yeah you're gonna need a gaming uh, GPU like a graphics card of some sort or, or a graphics processor in your like if you have a laptop Hopefully it's gaming a, a gaming oriented variant of a Piece of hardware if not this isn't gonna work for you But uh, so my computer has an AMD um, Radeon uh, RX 500 series uh, video card All right, <clears throat> it's got like two fans, but anyway, or something like that so uh, inside of my Radeon settings, like for you if you have an NVIDIA card, or in, in the future if you have an Intel card, uh, you're going to have to play around with it and see if it's somewhere in there. So uh, from here I'm going to go to settings, and then I'm going to go to graphics, and I'm just going to change it all down here, we're going to go advanced, and I'm just going to force the anti listing on, so override, and I'm just going to set the set it to its max setting, 8x. And uh, if anything else is here, super sampling, um, I don't know what this does, but I just turn it on because why not, right? Change this to max. I'm pretty sure these do nothing in Bluestacks because uh, Bluestacks doesn't innately uh, support it. And if it does, it just emulates it. So it's not a real uh, 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 misotropic. So yeah. But anyway, with that done, then I just, uh, it just auto saves whenever I do this. So there we go, and I just switch back and make sure that it does stay as it should. And as you can see, it's uh, switched out and it, uh, it still uh, shows up as 8x and, set and whatnot. All right, so that's done. So now from within Bluestacks, uh, also, also some settings, like some uh, some video cards, uh, their settings, uh, you'll have to target specific apps or program names. I'm not sure what do you do for Radeon. This just targets everything, like like system wide. So yeah, so if I play a 3D game in like Google Chrome, it's gonna affect that. If I play a game in like Phasmophobia, it's gonna affect that. Or like in Steam, whatever, it's gonna affect that. So mine's is just system wide. It's just easier for me. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so that's done. So now I just gotta close on you for speed and whatnot, and uh, restart Blue uh, Bluestacks. So one more thing. Uh, so if I go into Explore and go to the Need for Speed uh, data folder, um, inside of the uh, the var folder, in, inside your data files and then var, uh, you're gonna have a file called Graphic Settings. Um, most people edit it. Mine's is just completely. The original default file it's not modified in any, uh, uh, any sort of way all right and uh, so just showing you that it's the original file so now I'm going to restart blue stacks here's my multi stop all right and then uh, start it back up and debating if I should cut this out or fast forward I may just fast forward we'll see um, some people like enjoy me like I don't know they, they they like hearing me talk I don't know why there are some folks that just do as I found out uh, 
do I find it creepy? No, not really. It's just interesting. <laughs> All right, so load it up. I'm gonna go to my garage and then uh, pull up that um, car. We got Dodge something. Uh, yeah, and now you'll see that uh, it's gonna be a little smoother. As you can see, it's a, it's a little smoother. It's uh, not as jacked, and uh, it looks a little nicer. So uh, yeah, it'll be great for like pictures and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so that's how I set that up. So it's, it has nothing to do with the graphics files. Uh, there is one time I do modify the graphics files, but it's uh, just for picture purposes. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that here because that's just my own little thing. But yeah, you can see that uh, it looks a lot nicer, like a uh, computer game should look like. It's still not perfect because uh, for those that don't know, the, the game normally um, renders in a, a resolution of 1280 by 720 to 720p, and you can't really make it not do that, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, so you keep so if if when you smooth it, if it looks like the game is is a uh, is a small like JPEG or PNG and it's just been blown up, that's pretty much what's happening. Um, I'm guessing that's because when this game first came out in like 2015 or 2014, I forget uh, when it was, um, devices weren't that powerful back then. So, you know, running 720p and upscaling that, that was a lot uh, um, less intensive on a device and uh, would, would al allow the most frames per second on, uh, on people's devices uh, compared to like now, you know? And uh, it, it would be nice if you know they they, get, they would increase the resolution and the frame rates because our newer devices are a lot faster than it was um, seven years ago. But it is what it is. Uh, I'll look at another car just because why not? Uh, so look at this one, uh, Corvette Stingray. Yada, right? S smoother, nicer, etc. Uh, need I say more? Yeah. So in some cases, some people have. I, I I've talked to some people where they do like the more alias look, the uh, very edgy uh, look. I personally don't like it for, but to each their own because they 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 feel that when it's all smoothed out, the, the image does look blurry. You can't really tell that it's it's upscaled. Uh, but when it's all edgy, it looks a little more clear in a way. It's a, it's an illusion of, of of the eyes, but yeah, it is what it is. Up to you. If you like it this way, cool. If not, whatever. Yeah. All right then. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, I'll go in game just to show you just to show you all that. It does not apply in game. Uh, if it does, news to me. But last I checked, does not apply in game. So as you can see, it's still really jagged inside the game, uh, like well, like while racing. And uh, for what I do for in-game is uh, something else entirely different, which I'm not gonna get into because it's complicated. Yeah. All right. So when I was talking about doing pictures with the graphic settings file, so this is an example, right? So uh, with this car. Um, even if I turn the settings up, uh, the wrap on it is uh, kind of gonna usually be in a lower quality uh, because it's an older one. It's pretty damn old. Uh, it was released when the game first came out, and the, you know resolutions were a lot smaller then, so they didn't have a reason to make a really big, clear, crisp um, uh, graphic file, right? So um, yeah, so if you modify your graphic settings file, you can, in a sense not turn the resolution up but uh make 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 the uh, render uh, uh treat the the these uh these older graphics a little nicer right i'm, I'm not sure the proper words i can't think of it off the top of my head right now but just take my word for it so they look like this now right i'll try to do a comparison after but uh i might forget <laughs> so instead of explore i have this file all right i'm just gonna copy this over over to this side i'm gonna overwrite and I'll upload this if anybody wants it. But uh, so if I now open up the game, all right, and if I look at that graphic now, it should look a little more crisp. It looks a little nicer. It's uh, yeah. So as you can see, it looks a lot better than it did originally without modifying that file. So I'll try to put a comparison picture. I'm just gonna freeze it here and 
see if I can slap that in. Should I just take a picture when I uh, get out of here, but whatever. But anyway, so yeah, you can see that it's uh, it's a lot nicer looking. Yeah, and this will apply for like the legacy wraps, right? The wraps that came on cars that uh, are, that um, we can't touch. Uh, it doesn't do really anything on the newer wraps because those are drawn at a very much higher resolution. So those won't really change at all, if anything at all. Uh, yeah, so I'll go to this one that I had shown earlier. And it still looks exactly the same. There is no no change whatsoever. Alright, so yeah. Alright, that's uh that's that. And I guess I should probably change the license plate on that. Because why not? License plates, what would look good? That red one? Oh I can't don't have that mod on. I, I, I forgot I don't have that on right now. Uh Oh yeah, it is what it is. So, oh well, whatever. What can you do? Besides put the mod on. Boom, baby! Okay, now I can you put it on. Alright, so gridlock. I don't know. I, I think because the car is white, I should use this one. Doesn't look as nice to me, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Alright. And that's what I'm gonna go with. And like I said in the previous video, stancing doesn't work with this particular mod. Not that much of a deal breaker, but just something to consider. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Bye.